Okay, hello. Uh, I am Chandra Dilingrat, and in this video, I am going to demonstrate about this new assemble command inside the Linux. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, use it. Um, I'm going to use this this basic model, this basic tuple model, and our goal is to assemble so it can connect it by constraint. All the compass is connected by constraint like this. Okay, just a simple constraint, and we are going to use the assemble. So uh, I've prepared my new assembly parts, and I'm going to add new components and we can also use this assemble to add uh, components and we can uh, select multiple do a multiple selection just by uh, holding your con control key like this one and just clicking ok and all the component is uh, loaded and we can continue to add a, a constraint to our component. So, for example, I'm going to select this component and do an, an action to fix constraint. So, that is my first fix constraint. And then, if we uh, refer to this assembly, the first one I'm going to attach this handle, this the longest handle to this hole. So I'm I just need to select this uh, cylindrical face to this is cylindrical face, and uh, I'm going to show my uh, constraint. And I am is automatically you can see the the free foot uh, action is uh, automatically select the center axis touch align but we can also change this action and for example I'm the next one I'm going to select these two faces and it is automatically uh, select the touch align option and I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to add more uh, I'm going to duplicate this component and by using this assemble command, we just need to hold our control key and select this and do a drag action, drag operation like this, and I've got my new duplicated component. And I do the same, I will do the same, attaching these two faces together. And if we find that, uh, that our component is not uh, properly oriented, we can change uh, the orientation by clicking this reverse slice constraint. And that is the orientation that I want. And then I'm going to connect these two faces, faces together. And then I am going to connect these two cylindrical faces. I mean, two lines. So it's automatically select the center axis touch line. Okay, I'm going to click apply and then I am going to attach these two components together. And then I am going to select this face to touching to this face. So it's automatically uh, select the touch line constraint. I'm going to click OK first and uh, currently I am using uh, I'm going to tell you first currently I am using the 3d space mode to my uh, op for uh, supporting my operation and you can see my type is a space mode pro by 3d connection and I am still using the default setting here so it's really helpful especially uh 
like this operation we we need to zoom in to some faces like this and it's really helpful if we use this 3d mouse connection because we can uh, move our product or our paths simultaneously six by six degree of freedom so it's really helpful it's really robust our operation okay i'm going to proceed my uh, uh, operation and for the next operation i'm going to uh, move first this handle by using move component okay and then i am going to attach this hub by using the assemble command again to this uh, and the uh, arm and this whole this face this cylindrical faces to th this cylindrical faces and then i'm going to attach this face to this face so you can see uh, is the constant is automatically selected the right uh, preferred constraint so i am going to move uh, the component first to test the uh, mechanism whether the mechanism is right or not so okay it's worked correctly and then i continue to add more component to so test more component and now i'm going to attach this grip handle grip again using assemble i'm going to attach this face to this face and i am going to attach this face to this face and for this one uh we need to do a more operation but uh before i doing that i just want to tell that uh in this assemble also we can drag our component like this because it has still one degree of freedom so i can move this by dragging this component so the next one i'm going to add the constraint between this face to this center line and it's a detect the touch line but i want to change my action constraint type to distance so i click the distance and put my distance for example uh, 22 millimeters and click apply so if you want to change it we can uh, you, we can do like that and i'm going to add more i'm going to attach more component again and for the next one i'm going to attach this uh, shaft to this cylinder just for simplification and i am going to move vertically and then i am going to add some distance constraint again to between these two uh, components 25 i'm going to click apply and then i'm going to attach this rubber to this uh shaft and for better uh, movement i'm going to drag it first and i'm going to attach this face to this face i'm going to click apply and the rest is uh, i'm going to attach this and uh, this uh, flat to this shaft and attaching this face to this face and uh, rest is touching this uh, not i'm going to i need to select the center line to this center line or face and then i'm going to attach this face to this face and i need to duplicate these two component again i just need to uh, hold my control key and drag this component and also this component and i do the same to attach i do the same the same method to check, attach this component to this component and i'm going to reverse my last constraint and then i'm going to attach this face to this face and to align this between these two components, I just need to select this face and this face. And 
the last one I want to uh, attach this knot I'm going to select the center line to this face this is my knot I just want to move first or better uh, operation and then I'm going to attach between those two faces okay I'm going to click OK and you can see the mechanism is uh, in correct uh, condition now okay that's all for my assemble demonstration thanks for watching and see you in the next video